Hola y bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de Grand Theft Auto 5. Si recordáis en el capítulo anterior, vinimos justo a rescatar a la mar, pero el vídeo se, se me hizo muy largo. Entonces, vamos a seguir desde donde lo dejamos y vamos a ir por enfrente, a lo loco. Para confirmar la posición de Trevor. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at them from two different directions. Maybe. Pues eso, me voy a la de la izquierda, no la de atrás, porque si no no me puede cubrir. Ah, no puedo coger el coche por nada. Era justo bajando. Donde había una grúa también, ha dicho. Uf. Para allá me imagino que es. Sí, ahí es. Sí, aquí donde la grúa. Give us the signal when you're ready, Frank. Let's go find a dude. I'll take out whoever I can. Vamos. Get 
tres. Ahí va. No puede ser, no me da cuenta. El fallo más tonto. Tendrá que haber cogido a Trevor. to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Jump on me though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money, money making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. We flying now. No puede ser. Increíble, tío. Increíble. Take Lamar! Alright, I'm going too! Thanks, sneaky dude! I still ain't met your ass! I can take care of myself! Go! T, call me, dog! I'm gonna come up to the unicorn and get horny on your office supply! Jump on me though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. 
Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times with... No. I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been, uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't even knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. You must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga. That's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga. I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man. Uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? 
Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my doom, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. Menuda noticia, la verdad. Misión superada. La mar de problemas. En plata. ¿No llamar a alguien? Colega, mi padre no es un gilipollas integral. Voy al estreno de su película. Estaré en la. Vale, así que hay que ir a. a por Michael. Pero igualmente voy a dejar aquí este episodio. Habiendo salvado a la mar. Así que nada, espero que os haya gustado. Y nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.